when we think about mental health and spiritual health, I've often found that it's people separate the two, even Christians. So we think about our spiritual health as one thing and our mental health as a whole other Mm. thing. And I wonder if you think they're integrated in your life. Do you think about them as integrated Um, and how? I think they have become more integrated because Mm -hmm. I think, to your point, I think they were very separate. Mm -hmm. It was like I have my spiritual practice and then I deal with life and whatever mental Mm -hmm. and my tools and trying to manage that. And as I get older... I, like, for instance, when I first moved to L.A., gosh, 18 years ago, I think I was in a very, when it came to my spirituality, I was in a very kind of defensive space of, like, um, anytime someone found out I was a Christian, it was that kind of, like, I'm a Christian, but I'm a Christian, but I cuss or I drink or just something <laughs> to kind of frame, you know, in a very controlling way. Mm-hmm. And it was giving me more anxiety. Mm-hmm. And I think as I got older, there's a real, there's a real freedom and beauty and just owning who I am. Mm-hmm. Like I, I love to talk about it. If somebody asks, I, I have a real, I'm not exactly where I probably, I should be. I don't think we ever will be, but it's like a real ownership to my mm-hmm. faith. It, it is everything to me. And what that does, not only does it open up conversation is it releases the anxiety. There was also, when there, when there was this like bound up, you know, defensiveness of it, it was, everything was just really tense and afraid of what they thought and how I need to control the narrative and I need to control this. And it's like, A, I can't control how you, uh, how you perceive me. Um, Everybody comes from so much different trauma when it comes to faith. Mm -hmm. I can't control if they put their trauma on my story. I can't control that. Mm -hmm. But owning it and just being honest about it and I don't know, I just took away that anxiety. Mm -hmm. So I think they've kind of gotten a lot more meshed. Yeah, that's really fantastic. And I think Describing yourself in those early days in L.A., that sounds like a lot of work, a a lot lot of of emotional work work to manage what other people think about you. Yeah, and it's based in just wanting to be loved, wanting Mm -hmm. to be accepted, um, fear of what the church community thinks or God thinks. And Mm -hmm. just thankfully, as you mature, just realizing Mm -hmm. I have no control (laughs) over that, you know, because, I mean, I'm from the South. I, I can't imagine what, you know. I'm, well, I don't, I don't. This sounds judgmental, but I'm sure a lot of people have different perspectives mm-hmm. of what I do, especially mm-hmm. the work I do. I'm not doing stuff that's in the Christian bookstore, you know. Right. <laughs> I'm right. doing like Veep and arrest. I mean, these right. aren't, you know, Sunday school lessons. So it's like they and I. And for a while, I would get kind of like, oh gosh, what? And it's like, hey, I, I really believe I'm in my patch of this patchwork, mm-hmm. and I can't control that narrative. 